this video, I'm going to use the equation vf squared equals vi squared plus 28x. I'm going to show you when to pick it and how to, how to use this or how to, how to pick your, between your equations. And then at the very end, if, I'm going to show you how to rearrange this equation if, you're going to, if, if you want to rearrange it for any one of these variables. Okay, so the variables here mean vf is final velocity, vi is initial velocity, a is acceleration, and x is displacement. What I don't have is time. This is going to be very important because this will help me pick up my equation. I don't have time. I don't need, I can't have time anywhere in the equation. And don't forget to have your unknown. So let's take a look at an example. Here, a skater is gliding off a frozen pond into a patch of ground at a speed of 2.9 meters per second. Here she slowed at a constant rate of, so watch out for that, slowed at a constant rate of 3.0 meters per second squared. How fast was the skater moving after she slid 0 0.38 meters across the ground? So it's asking you how fast was she moving after she slid that. It's asking you for VF. Um, it has the speed was 2.9 meters per second before she slowed. And then she slowed, slowed so it's going to be accelerated but decelerated at 3.0 meters per second squared. And then you have your displacement x that we're... Um, which is 0 0.38, we know that. And so because I have these givens and I don't have time, I wanna get rid of anything that has time in it. I can't have that, I can't have that, I can't have that, leading me to one equation only. Okay, so let's all solve for this. Vf squared, I want Vf, Vf alone, not Vf squared, equals Vi squared plus 2ax. It's gonna do know my displacement is 0 0.38. Go ahead and solve VF equals square root of VI was 2.9 squared plus 2 times a negative 3 times 0 0.38. All that is going to be under the square root. So in my calculator, I hit square root and of, it gives me one parenthesis. I want another parenthesis, 2.9 squared, close parenthesis. Plus, open parentheses, 2 times negative 3 times 0.38, close parentheses, close parentheses, equals, and you get 2.4758, but if I'm going to around that, 2.5 meters per second. So there's your final velocity in this, this problem. You slowed from 2.9 to 2.5 meters per second. Okay, so... Um, let's go ahead and let me show you how to rearrange this equation. If I wanted to rearrange it for VI, this is how I would do it. I'd have to get rid of the 2AX. And I have VF squared minus 2AX equals VI squared. And at that point in time, I can take the square root of both sides. And I'm going to rewrite this. So that gets rid of all that. VI equals square root of VF squared minus 2AX. And all this will be under the parentheses or under the the square root. Okay, rearranging for A. If I want to rearrange for A, I'm going to subtract VI squared from both sides. So I have VF squared minus VI squared equals 2AX. At this point in time, I want to get rid of 2 and X. So I'm going to do both of these at the same time. I'm going to get rid of 2 and X. And that gets rid of this and this. And I'm left off with A equals VF squared minus VI squared over 2x. Okay, if I want to rearrange it for x, it's kind of the same deal. Minus vi squared, let's get rid of this. vf squared minus vi squared equals 2ax. I want to get rid of the 2a this time. Let's get rid of 2a all at once. And x equals vf squared minus vi squared over 2a. And if I was trying to solve this for VF, this should be a given. This is what I did in our video. Take the square root of both sides. Uh, take the square root of both sides, and then that gets rid of the squared, and I get square root of everything VI squared plus 2AX. And that's it. Okay, and then watch out for a common algebra mistake. Let me just plug in some numbers to show you. If this was 10 squared, um, 2 squared plus 2 times 5 times x. Uh, you cannot take this. This is going to end up being 10. So students will be like, okay, this is 100. This is 4 plus this is 10x. You cannot add these two together. 
This is 10 X's. I don't know what X's are. I have something added to added to this 10 X. I need to get rid of the addition or any sort of subtraction would be here before I would ever deal with a division or a multiplication. So here, my next step would be minus four, minus four. I get 96 over here equals 10 X. And at that point in time, then I can get rid of the 10 and I would be left off with X equals 9.6 meters.